Yeah, bust open that popcorn and chips because there's some drama uh -oh. yeah. over at Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers will no longer be releasing the film Batgirl. The DC film already completed shooting. It's uh, in the stages of post-production right now. It was expected to come out later this year, but but the exact reason why they scrapped it isn't really clear. Some industry experts are saying that the new Warner Brothers management is filtering through which projects to release exclusively in theaters or on streaming and which they want to ax. Batgirl was reportedly set to release directly on HBO Max. Its budget was apparently $90 million. So basically what happened is the CEO is now looking at all these movies that they want to do and I guess they're kind of leaning towards doing going back towards doing big budget um, movie theater superhero movies. And they looked at Batgirl, which was always slated as like a little bit smaller scale Direct straight to, to HBO Max. Yeah. And so they uh, didn't know what to do with it. Um, there were rumors that they might have scrapped it as a tax write down uh, as they kind of go through different <laughs> strategies. And um, there it were rumors that they were potentially looking at maybe uh, maybe beefing it up and making it worthy of theaters, although some people are saying they don't know how much credence those reports have. Uh, but now they're, Warner Brothers is saying, you're not gonna see it anywhere. It's gone, it's like, they're not, it's just we're, doesn't exist. Which is kind of crazy because like, like the whole thing's been shot. It's got some pretty big stars in it. Um, a lot of people were excited about it and interested in it. Wasn't and Michael Keaton just, gonna reprise the role Michael of Michael Keaton Batman? was gonna reprise his Batman role. That's um, cool. J.K. Simmons was in it. Uh, like a, a ton of people. I'm so. surprised that they needed a write down after um, they had CNN Plus last year, which <laughs> lost them 300 something yeah, right? million dollars. Apparently, that wasn't uh, enough to get them out of the way of the IRS or something. I don't know. So, do you, yeah, do you well, really? What's your What's your gut tell you as far as this goes? Because like, a lot of the stuff doesn't make any sense. I know that one of the things that. Um, I also heard was that the the DC universe, which right now is very fractured, it's not like Marvel where there's yeah. one cinematic universe. Mm -hmm. This didn't fit in that plan. Zaslav or whatever, however you say his name, the new guy yeah. who's running it over there, who also sh did shut down CNN Plus, said, "No, this has to become like Marvel. We are going to try to do these big shows, just like that, and also making me make it all one unique universe." I mean, what? Yeah, I think that's what the, I think that's the goal. I think that's always been the goal, and they haven't been able to really achieve that yet. Um, they they were kind of laying some groundwork. For instance, they were they were talking about Michael Keaton as Batman being kind of like the Samuel L. Jackson uh, role in the Marvel films. Oh. That's kind of like this through Nick line Fury. of like yeah, the Nick Fury role of like the the kind of the older uh, person Agent to guide Sage. everybody yeah, along. Yeah, that's and kind cool. of And like he's gonna show up in the Flash movie. There's rumors he'll be in Aquaman. He was supposed to show up in Batgirl, but uh, we're not gonna see that now. There's reports now that they're kind of refilming his role for Aquaman because it was like confusing to audience members. So it's, there's still a bunch of like really scattered, confusing things. There's not really like a, a one direction. And I think now they're trying to kind of maybe start from scratch. So you don't think way. you don't think that they're doing this because it sucked? Because lots of people were saying um, just Justice League, not Justice League, mm -hmm. uh, just the um, the one about the, the the Justice League. No, not the Justice League. The one about the bad guys. Oh, um, Suicide Squad. Su 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 Suicide Squad. The original one, the first one, people, lots of people were saying this terrible. should have never been released. Yeah, it was, it was really so bad. awful. So you think the situation is the same with this Batgirl? So I don't really know. There, there was a very early version of the Batgirl movie that test screened and didn't score very well. But it was only test screened once. It got like something like a 60 score, which many, many movies test poorly doesn't mean it's not like financially viable or it's going to be successful once it's finally released. So I don't think it was that because it was still like i said not com it's not totally completed sure um, how do they make money on movies that go straight to streaming like do, do does would this actually pull people in to subscribe i think it could i mean i mean i don't know that hbo max is necessarily having very many problems i think they're doing just fine on their own but i think um I think a lot of people were interested in seeing this and might have wandered over there to like check it out, maybe yeah. new, maybe getting some new subscribers from it. And I mean, <clears> Disney <throat> Plus has all their Marvel stuff. I think HBO Max right. is oh. trying to do something similar now. with right. like the story. DC stuff. Well, and I think I think that you're you're right, and also the fact that like maybe even if they're not going to make money on that specific property, it's all about the overall plan mm -hmm. to get people to get the subscription service because that's like a long play. And maybe the thinking is 
we've we've screwed up so many times. I mean, they had some really really great movies for DC, right? There was, yeah, there was all the, the there, Joker, yeah. they had the Batman the, movie. The first like, Wonder Woman was pretty good. Th- things well that received, did okay, but yeah. obviously on a whole, like not as good as Marvel. And I think that a lot of the concern is we don't want, or this guy who just took over doesn't want the first thing that comes out under the DC, which is very important, the DC umbrella, to be a big flop. That's and I point. think that this is probably something that it's a really good might, have, might have been yeah. that. So he wants to come Could out be. swinging. I don't know. This yeah. is this is a uh, uh, interesting. This is very quick. Oh yeah, take a look at this. Lightyear. Lightyear is now streaming on Disney Plus. Oh, that's fast. Disney is hoping the movie will have a better reception on the streaming platform than it did in the theaters. The fifth movie in the Toy Story franchise earned only about $220 million at the worldwide box office, so they're hoping uh, that uh, by putting it on Disney Plus, where you're subscribed, they'll go check that out and they can... I thought it was a good idea. It's it's, it's the movie about the toy. It's not about the toy. Yes. And I thought that was a good idea. It sucks that it was so poorly perceived. I I haven't seen the movie yet, so I have no opinion on it, but... uh, I I just feel so uninterested. I'm not going to watch. It's not good. I think even people who, like, got the concept, like the reviewers and stuff like that, were like, "Mm, But just give us another Toy Story No, that's it's cool because it's a different concept. I think that's the same thing that applies with DC. Like, I think Marvel has, like, a special formula that they apply to every single movie that they make. Oh, yeah, you're And it's because of this formula that it's successful, but it's so uh, cookie cutter. Yeah. And with DC, I think they're trying different things. They try this, like, like the new Joker with Joaquin Phoenix was so different. You know, so good. But it could have been so bad just, just as easily. So I, I think it's they're, they're gambling more DC. And I think sometimes it pays off and sometimes it doesn't. Totally. Mm-hmm. Totally. And they can because they're like always going to be the second tier sort of. Which sucks because yeah. I'm a I, I bigger know. DC I, fan I, than I Marvel all day. But, so. you know, you're not Disney for sure. What do you think about all this? I think I like the way Robert's wearing his headphones now to accentuate his perm. How is it? How, oh. <laughs> oh. Over, yeah. Thank can't you. Put, can't put the right on He top. looks like a British DJ. I had to message my uh, lady who permed it because um, it's already you d- getting You did not. Now. You did not. Why you did this I? already from the time that we spoke? Yeah. So now you've you messaged already messaged her your that it was afternoon. getting heavy. What is your problem? My hair is getting heavy, and so it's the curls are like disappearing. And she's like, "Don't no, blow dry it." He's mad because the perm is going away. No, I didn't. I didn't. Say, I just said it's like dissipating. She's like, she was just giving me suggestions what to do to keep I the curls it, alive. It relaxes a bit. It has, yes, to, exactly. it has to fall. Your curls fall, sir. But there's things to do to prevent that. Don't Bobby, get a perm. Bobby <laughs> <laughs> You I was going to say, I understand your point that if you get, you pay all this money, you get the perm, and then like it starts to flatten out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not suggesting that her she did a, a bad no, job not. and it's already disappeared. Okay, fine. So, I yeah, just, yeah. I, I, I jumped to a conclusion you because did. you were very upset earlier, and I know what usually happens when right. you call people in the service industry. Yep. Oh, yeah. uh, it's usually not no, good for that money. I, They're totally right. <laughs> wow. Have no, you guys he's never right. seen but me I'm, speak to a person? I, I'm very, <laughs> I'm very careful with my words. So. I would say all of us have had have definitely seen you speak. To people. Well, that, yeah, we and that's, have. That's why we can say these things. Also, yeah, bear witness. Maybe Bobby is sabotaging because he doesn't want somebody else to have curly hair. On oh, the I really don't. Ooh. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I was actually. I, thinking, I really don't care. Remember, <laughs> just remember. What if I also did a perm, and then you got straight relaxed? Yeah, straight and I bleached it. Bleached have you ever it. straightened your hair? I'm not. Oh, I better be so long. I did it as a joke once, I think. And they did like this weird emo thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's that's so so funny. Funny. Love to see that. <laughs> and only Let's lasted for like love to see 30 it. minutes. Do you have to grow your hair longer than what it is now? To straighten it? Yeah, to straighten it. Uh, exactly. Probably. I don't know. It's still pretty long. Because if yeah. Sam wants to put the straightener no, to, your, to your head right now, she would burn your scalp probably. No, yeah, no, no, probably. no, no, no. It depends on the width of the flat iron. Your hair's kind of... I have product. Pretty long. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. Like, this is long. from the middle. Heck of yeah. This would be really it. long. This would be awesome. <laughs> Straight haired Bobby. Oh my god. Then we could really have your evil a twin. It would be like, oh, <laughs> Robbie. I have to skedaddle in about five to seven minutes. So we're going to take a quick break. Come back, do a check in? Sure. All right. Facebook.com slash group slash ktl 5 Say hello. We'll be wow, back in is about that for real? three minutes. <laughs> 